the time has finally come. Looking for that trophy toadfish, man. I'm gonna do a catch and cook oyster cracker. So stay tuned. Hopefully uh, we get into some toadfish. All right, we had to clean the freezer out, so I got some frozen squid, probably circa 2015 or, or even older. So I figure, what the heck, let's uh, try and empty the, the freezer and make some space. Gonna put it on a quarter ounce bottom sweeper and drop it down and see what we get. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, there was a hit. They might have robbed me. No, oh, no, we're still getting hits. Got them, whatever it is. Oh, little sea bass. We're gonna drop this quarter ounce jig down, bottom sweeper jig with uh, sand flea, frozen. Got him. And that was quick, a little tog though, that's my guess. Oh no, sea bass, yikes. That's no good. All right, there we go. Oh, geez. literally, that is not a toad fish. ourselves a trophy toad. Well, there's a bunch of sea bass, that's for sure. Sea bass. No. A little tog. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Oyster toad, let's go. That is the desired species right there. Can't do a catch and cook without you, fella. Well, you know what? We're gonna throw you back. We're gonna throw this one back for good luck. See if we can't get a monster toad to cook up. All right, man, they say it's good luck to throw the first toadfish back, so hopefully the toadfish gods will reward me with a giant. Did we hook the giant toad? Ah, that's kind of like... I don't think that's the, the one we want. Waiting for that big boy. All right. So we got two toadfish, none of which look big enough to really make a meal. So hoping there's a big boy down there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a toad. Oh yeah. The toadfish gods. Look at that, that's what we're talking about right there. That one, that's a good one for a frying pan. Mama toadfish. Probably the only idiot in the world who's ever used one of those stringers to keep toadfish. I knew the toadfish gods were gonna reward us. Ah, mother, ow, son of a gun. These guys are literally not fun to deal with. Look, oh. Ah, I'm just trying not to get stuck. There we go. All right. See if we can't get into some more. Getting little hits. Oh, flounder maybe? 
No, oh, there we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Some brown gold right there, baby. You're going on the stringer, bud. All right, all right, all right, man. We are. Well, let's put you down for a minute. We are well on our way to a oyster toad fish fry. Man. wasn't meant to be well, we just lost that uh toadfish bonehead move trying to put it on the stringer over the side of the kayak they are slippery though i will be honest with you but uh well just makes it that much better to try and catch another one all right man so here is the <coughs> oyster toadfish that we got earlier uh the one we harvest for this catch and cook be honest with you not very appetizing from the outside I've actually never filleted one of these so <clears throat> you know here's to hoping that this isn't a butcher job um, I'm trying my best Ooh. well let's see find that spine and work my way down it be a better job but could be worse I guess let's try and put that there meat kind of looks similar to like sea robin that same kind of color or even like ling that wasn't a bad one not much meat left on that oyster toad. Now, I'm a firm believer of using what you catch, so I'm gonna throw this guy in the freezer and we're gonna just use it for minnow bait. I don't like wasting any part of a fish if I'm gonna harvest it. All right, so let me put this oyster toad carcass in a bag. All right, next step, skinning them. They are some slimy devils, man. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start on this one. Not much meat, but <clears throat> we're really only taking a taste test today. There's the skin. Let me rinse this in some water. Well, to be honest with you, it's kind of what I was expecting. Like very interesting looking fillets. Have to rinse that more when we get inside. You guys all, you know, <clears throat> there's a like a resounding yes opposed to no of should I do a catch and cook of oyster toadfish. I'm gonna say it was like 330 yeses to seven no's. Ooh. We're just gonna take out that little bit of rib meat. Boy. All right, man, so this is it's what we got to cook with. This is either gonna be treasure or it's gonna be trash. All right, so we're going to keep today's cooking aspect very simple. Got some beer batter mix, can of yingling, a lemon, and the glorious toadfish. So let's uh, see how it tastes. All right, so first thing I was doing when I first uh, got the filet or meat that we had in the fridge, I just kind of looked through it, make sure that there was no... Um, parasites or any worms i know if we cook it it'll kill them but i'd prefer not to you know eat worms if i don't have to all right so this is probably the easiest way to cook 
fish. So I'm just putting some beer batter mix in a bowl. Don't really need much because we didn't really keep many toadfish today. We're gonna open up a can of Yingling. I feel like any beer really works. And then let's get that mixed up. All right. Might put a little too much beer. Might have to add more mix. There we go. You almost want to get like just a, a thicker consistency, almost kind of like pancake mix. At least I noticed that seems to be like the best consistency when you're uh, beer battering fish. Like that, that actually looks pretty good. All right, so batter's ready to go. Like I said, we didn't keep uh, much. We had two toads that we probably could have harvested, lost one. Um, I'm a big proponent of not taking more than what you need. And if uh, it turns out to be pretty good, we'll probably go back out for them. But what I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of cut this little piece. That way we have like three little nuggets to fry up. All right, so next step, get a little bit of oil in the pan. They say just enough. You don't wanna go crazy especially for the little nuggets that we got. We're gonna turn the heat up, get this cranking, and then we'll uh, fry them. All right, so we've been heating up the oil for some time. I believe it's ready to go. So now we're gonna take these fillets, or nuggets, I guess you'll say. Let's see, uh, put it right here. Dip them in the beer batter. Now they say that you're supposed to cook it three to five minutes. Uh, per side or something like that, but I'm just going by the golden brown if they go if it starts to look golden brown That's how we know that it's time to Eat them Now one of the things I do notice with this type of cooking you want to make sure your oils hot man if your oils not hot um, and It takes a little bit longer to cook and the Meat might get messed up just because it gets a little bit uh, oil logged. All right, so they look pretty golden brown to me. Don't want to overcook them. I'm gonna throw them on a paper towel to try and get any excess oil off of them. And the paper towel just kind of help, you know, get any of that excess oil that's on the uh, little toadfish nuggets off. All right, man, here's the finished product. Looks edible, but I mean, anything beer battered is going to be somewhat edible. All right, so time has come. To be honest with you, when I was filleting this guy, I was starting to have second thoughts. Um, just smelling, you know, an oyster toadfish could give you second thoughts alone, but uh, here's the moment of truth. See how it tastes. Very, uh, the, the texture of it is very similar to cod kind of tastes very like cod like to be honest it's actually not that bad uh, that's a, a surprising um, feeling that I was not expecting it to have that like kind of I don't know the flakiness I guess you'd say I mean it actually doesn't look half bad and I don't know. If you were to fry up this and flounder up or cod, I probably wouldn't tell the difference other than maybe the, the thickness of the filet. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. I'd say 
And, you know, flounder season closes and, you know, might get a little tough to find some meat. This actually isn't that bad. Um, you just got to get past the smell of the fish itself. Um, but very uh, pleasantly surprised. I'd say 10 being the best, zero being like not edible. It's like a, a, a seven maybe. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I ended up crushing those, you know, three little nuggets we had. Now I'm kind of a little disappointed that we lost that one oyster toad at the side of the kayak, but uh, it's the one that got away, I guess, the, the fish story. But if you enjoyed today's video, please uh, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe. Have a great day, guys.